a quick update. I got some uh, changes to a couple tanks around here I want to show you. I don't really want to wait any longer to the next reptile room video. It's two weeks away still, so things might even change more. So let's uh, take a look. So the first change you guys might have known about is my uh, newest addition to the reptile room. Our little, uh, <laughs> what do they call it, neon dotty back who is very skittish. Um, he might make his way up into this tank because of if you watched, if you looked at my Instagram you would have saw all the bristle worms. and. Apparently Dottie backs eat bristle worms, so hopefully he'll uh, move into there. But he is a captive born species, so who knows. There was a bunch of shrimp in here as well. I think he scared them all away. I've heard that they were kind of mean to shrimp, but uh, I don't know. But he's a cool little guy. I will uh, move on to the next tank and keep going. Something else is new is... Uh, Luke was up in his tank. Focus. Yep, that is chromium. He's in his little forested tank. There's still a little uh, algae issue on the glass. It's slowly going away with the added snails and stuff. And he looks really cool in this tank. So right now there's nothing in that tank. Um, so we'll keep moving around. Oh, if you guys didn't notice, um, Luke was down here. Mud minnow, ET. Nothing's changed here. We added a whole new rack here. So we moved uh, B as we call him slash her over here. A little turtle. Hey, hey. Um, added a misting system to a lot more tanks. And I'm feeding uh, Gitrog right now. He's not happy. I just saw both of the salamanders yesterday. They're out and about. Um, can I see? Oh, there's one right there. Look at that, guys. Don't run away. No, don't go. Bye-bye. If you guys have any cool names for him, let me know. Um, I also made a new tank here for the little guys we have back there. I did not do a video of this one. I just wanted to do a quick one for the tadpoles. And I think it's going to work out good. I got a new light on its way to help illuminate the tank a little better. And I added this begonia in here, and it's already added a new runner already. So begonias go really quick. FYI, we're gonna move around a little farther. So as you guys can tell, I got misting systems all over the place now. Um, toads don't have one; they have a fog. The fogger. Uh, Taddeus is doing good. Nothing else new here. The biggest elephant in the room is Khaleesi's tank. She has a background now. And it's rock, sand, and she's not been happy lately before I was doing this. She kind of went off food, so we were thinking maybe she's going into formation, or she's been stressed out, so that's why the cloths are on the edge of the tank, so she didn't see anybody's, t see her other roommates down here. But uh, yeah, she's doing pretty good now that she's uh, in her new humble abode with sand and rock and tons and tons of wood for her to climb around. It's a little less boring, I think. Um, we're trying different foods she's been eating. She's starting to eat again, which is good. Pineapple, blueberries. But she uh, went off food for, I don't know, a week and a half to two? So we thought she might have been Burmation, but she's super active and not sleeping, so I don't know. Um, this tank will be upgraded, uh, upgrade for Cersei up there. So I'm waiting to get some more Aspen bedding. We're gonna do this tank, this tank, and Tortellini's tank. Um, another new thing is I added an auto top off here on this tank. I don't know, the deal with water change, or not water changes, but keeping it uh, stable. And look who came back out. I haven't seen this guy for almost a month. The conch, sand, the, the sand conch. He's just been under the ground, hidden somewhere. I thought he was dead. I don't even know where he came out. It looks like he might have unburrowed there. Um, there's Pennywise, just kind of chilling. Um, nothing really has changed too much. I got a little more growth on this these tanks, but we'll go a whole update uh, later. I also have one last little thing. This mid month, I have gotten some newer neon tetras. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six little neon tetras. 
Um, these guys aren't as scared of me anymore. They all just know I'm food. So that's cool. And then just a couple moose nails and stuff in these tanks. And I did lose the other anemone, and that one is really hiding. I don't know what to do. I really like this tank, but it's kind of been troublesome. But we're back full circle. There he is, little guy. He's so cool. So cool. He's actually going to move up here with Bandit, I think. Um, because I read that you can keep these two species together since they're highly territorial and will fight. I might put a lid on the tank. <laughs> But uh, I don't know if it's going to be too territorial, and I wanted to make sure this guy was acclimated, healthy, and no parasites before I throw him in with him. Um, I might have to take both of them out of this tank for a while, put them both in quarantine maybe together, and then uh, move them both back here at the same time, because I think he's really established some territory in there. But I don't know. With the bristle worm population, I think... Uh, I think our little guy's going in there. And I'm really sad today. I was going to buy, or at least I wanted to buy, a uh, my other favorite fish, saltwater fish, a starry-eyed white-banded possum wrasse. Um, there was one coming up on Live Aquaria, and uh, someone had already scooped it up within five minutes of it being up. So I'm really sad that uh, it's already been pulled off. But beyond that, nothing else has changed, guys. And uh, we're just going to open the lid here and... Give you guys a look-see, and actually nobody's moving around, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll probably see you guys in next time. But first, we're gonna feed uh, the Gitrog, because if any of you have ever owned a Pixie Frog, they are just the hardest, baddest aiming creature that I've ever seen. Come on, Ziggy was better at catching food. Look at that, come on. Get away, come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's so bad at catching food, and he doesn't really seem to like too much, so. But now he's getting hungry. Let's flip that lily pad back over. Um, but like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.